Welcome. In this video, let's continue our review of basic algebra in the context of MA exam questions. We're going to practice solving for an unknown when it's at different places in a formula. Let us start with this question, which is testing your knowledge of investment appraisal. We've got a fill in the blank style question. Let's read what they want from us. How much should be invested now to the nearest dollar to generate $48,000? That would be per year in perpetuity. That's into the future, into infinity, when the interest rate is 4%. Well, the answer to this question lay in the present value of a perpetuity formula, which I can write down on my scratch paper the present value of a perpetuity will be equal to the annual cash flow divided by the interest rate. What information did they give us? They gave us the cash flow that we want and the interest rate of four. So this one is rather straightforward. That present value would be equal to Forty-eight thousand divided by zero point zero four, or that would be equal to one million two hundred thousand dollars. So rather straightforward when you know the formula. Let's change it around now. Let us imagine that the question were worded differently. The question said. A perpetuity has a present value of $1,200,000 at an interest rate of 4%. What is the annual cash flow? In this case, the formula would look like this. We have 1,200,000 equals x over 0.04. So how do we solve for the x? Well, we're dividing by 0 0.04. So now we multiply both sides by the 0 0.04. So that would be 0 0.04 times 1,200,000 equals x. And x will work back to that 48,000. that we had before. So that's a basic example of rearranging a formula, right, to solve for an unknown. Let's try another one. Jai invested a sum of money for three years at a compound interest rate of 2%. After three years, the sum of money was worth $541.22. To solve this problem, I'll need to recall the formula for compounding up a principal. So the principal multiplied by 1 plus the interest rate to the number of years raised to the power of the number of years is equal to the future value of that principal. Now that we have the formula, we can plug in the figures that were given to us. And we have P multiplied by 1.02, that's the 2% interest rate, compounded for three years is equal to 541.22. We can Simplify this further, now we can say that P multiplied by 1.06121, that's this part, that's 1.02 to the power of 3, is equal to 541.22. And now we just need to divide both sides by 1.06121. 
and we get P is equal to, so we did that division over here, P is equal to 510.01, so to the nearest one we got that. The answer guys is C. So another example of isolating an unknown in a basic formula. Here's our third and final example, and we're going to now work with ratios. Now we're dealing with a price index, and we have to find the best estimate for the current cost of a material. Let's read. Four years ago, the cost of material X was $5 per kilo, and the price index most appropriate was 150. So that's similar to a consumer price index. The same index now stands at 430. So that's a lot of inflation. We can now set this up as a ratio. We could say that the ratio of 150 to 430 will be the same as the price at 150 should hold the same ratio as the price to 430. So now my unknown is the denominator over here. And there's a nice simple way to, to solve the x in this situation. I'm just going to multiply the numerator here on the right, multiplied by this, then divide by the numerator here, and that would be the unknown. So that would be 5 multiplied by 430 over 150, and that comes to 14.33. Answer here would be C. So ladies and gentlemen, that's how we deal with the X when it's part of a ratio. Ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the end of our video practicing with basic algebra. Now you are equipped to jump into your MA question bank and solve more questions. And all of the other videos in this series are using this same principle. So you could continue viewing the videos here and practicing more questions in this series.